Hi, welcome to another four player chess match. I'm the operating system and today we're gonna be playing as blue. So today's match is a bit more even with having red as the strongest, then green and me as a bit of an even matchup, and then yellow as the weakest. So immediately we see a different strategy from both green and yellow. So, red just wants to trade immediately, don't know why, so I will accept. So, I'm not just going to fortify my, my central structure here. Yellow messed up there because now green can take that pawn. And green doesn't realize that. So. Here I'm gonna pin his knight here. Just gonna stop him for now. So just getting some basic setup for a king castle here. Mm. I did not hear any more progress with this pawn. Can I do this? No. Just gonna fortify here. So, gonna castle here and then gonna defend from green with pushing in my pawn. Unless red decides to go aggressive, in which case I have to do something about red. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'll go here. It's
there's like no real reason why I should be trading with like a lot of pieces with red. So now I'm gonna go for, for my queen here. Queen isn't much of a threat, so So the this move it has less priority over getting an advantage. Okay, so next step I get a queen. Let's see if they, they will let me. Okay, so red denies me. So gonna defend here for first. So I didn't realize that he had his bishop lined up with my queen. Like it's a bad idea to just let him take take my queen like that. Depending on what red does, I can take advantage of this because he's checking him. I can just take with the bishop. So three, three, five points. Okay, so I will now just move out of the way. Bring my bishop back to safety.
So the idea behind moving my rook is to, to push here. And I would like to to get the queen and actually force red to do something about it. If he just takes with the pawn, then I'll just take with the rook and have my rook in the center of the board and ready to start doing some bigger plays. I'm not sure what happened with green. Okay, so he just slowed down. So I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, but since he had he his horse there, I I wasn't daring to do that because he just takes. I take with the pawn. He takes with the queen, and I'm down a pawn. So not really worth worth it. So I'm just bringing my, my horse as deep into the board as I can. So this is just complete tempo base. If he decides to, to take it, I'll just take back. No, no matter what he do, does, I'm coming up some material. Like I'm just getting better options here. So I take it. Now the idea is to push this pawn up, although yellow has that, that covert, so it's not that great of an idea. Not sure why why he brings his horse there. It, it could be the same concept as mine of just bringing his horse into a, a good position. So, mm, I'm gonna do a dumb move. Like, it's a really bad move for this, which I just did. Like, I should have brought my queen there, ideally.
So what I'm gonna do is pin this horse onto his onto that. Should have to do some defensive stuff first. If yellow sees this, the key he should take there. Oh, he just gets the queen, which is a smarter idea. Let's see what red decides to do. So I just take. So here I protect my my horse, attack his horse. Don't know what yellow is doing, but it's fine, he's not attacking me, so I don't really mind. Okay, so that was why I moved my my bishop there. If I didn't have my bishop, he would attack my my king directly and get a free a free rook, which I do not want him getting any material on me. So both green and yellow have gotten queens. Although red can easily just take that there. Yeah, as expected. So just exposing yellow there. If yellow does not realize is Okay, so yellow play that properly. I'm gonna push my my pawn up now. Now I have the the right opportunity. Or just get some material. I also had the option of taking with the rook, which was, which would have set me up for, for I, I lived here. So I'm just gonna push this pawn up. Green green is likely to lose before before I get my pawn up there, so I don't really mind.
I see that red did is root lift. So the idea is actually to, to get the queen to the, to the other side, just to be able to still protect my, oh, well, didn't realize that green was targeting me there. So I'm out. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this four player chess match. The results are a bit unexpected, and the, but that's just because of the way that the match went of the cross, cross field. I think that Gil will have an opportunity of, of defeating Green pretty soon. But like they are really even in in the in position and green has slightly more material. But it's it's still undecided who who will win this. So green is probably going to take there. Yeah, green is going to win this. He, he has to too much at material advantage now unless green uh, loses by time that's a mistake that he probably wasn't expecting That's checkmate. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this four player chess match and see you next time. Bye.